The main reason for this particular landing gear is to provide a heli saver to allow a much better landing gear support for the helicopter. Um, on this particular tough landing gear, the battery tray has been relocated slightly forward of the stock one. The stock plastic one has been removed. That's the battery cage for the um, for the stock product. And the tough struts, the assembly has been uh, screwed directly to the frame, the plastic frame of the stock helicopter. The uh, G10 parts are assembled with uh, CA glue. The struts are press fit into the strut assembly, strut supports, and the skids are also press fitted into the tough struts. Basically, this is a very, uh, very tough setup here. It's supposed to provide a uh, protection for your helicopter. Anyway, more on this can be found in my Wakira thread in RC groups and also uh, on YouTube videos and also at my site. I have some uh, illustrations to show how this particular landing gear goes together. Well, pretty much that's what it's uh, supposed to look like on this helicopter. Uh, another upgrade that I've incorporated into this particular helicopter is the Mia Deluxe Flybar Tip Weights. These are just the tip weights which are now a kit for the Wakira 4G3 helicopter as well. We were supplying these for the 4 3 helicopters, the fixed pitch ones, to give the helicopters uh, more stability. And it's basically the same reason why we're doing this on this helicopter. If you're an expert, you probably won't need the extra fly, fly bar tip weights. But I figure for most people that are transitioning from a 4 3 to a 4G3, you're probably going to find this very useful as it will tame the helicopter control a little bit further. It will make the, the rotor a little more stable and, um, and it will, will not be so, um, so sensitive to control. Stock, the helicopter has been designed so that most uh, pilots that are familiar with CCPM or collective pitch helicopters can fly this helicopter out, out of the box. It, it is a very nice helicopter. I I think Wakira did a, an excellent job designing this, this particular helicopter. Uh, there are some things that were done, um, I understand, in a certain way, such as, for instance, the uh, location of the motor has been offset from the center line um, of the main frame to make room for the one of the, the third servo that is required for the CCPM setup. Uh, the other thing that's very nice about this helicopter that I particularly like is the tail section that is a bevel gear setup that they're using on the tail end however the helicopter is still slightly tail heavy because of that uh, setup and and also because of the battery the uh, the stock battery was more in line with with the center of the shaft which is where the CG should typically be but um, but it just so happens that uh, even with the battery the helicopter was slightly tail heavy and so for that reason um, we have incorporated the battery tray on this particular Mia tough landing gear slightly forward of the center of the main mast. It also allows for mounting various size batteries. There's a stock battery that you can get directly from the manufacturer or uh, distributors but there's also a, a slightly longer battery that is uh, available through uh, through other uh, sources uh, that will also fit on this particular helicopter and would work very nicely.